I was having trouble with um, breathing at night, it would wake me up. I was coughing really bad. I thought maybe it would go away within a month or two, but it didn't. So then I went into the urgent care because it just got really bad of not being able to breathe. And they did x-rays and they saw that I had <clears throat> something was on my lung. They said it was fluid. So then they sent me to, um, to get a CAT scan and that showed that there was definitely something there besides the fluid. Um, I think, I guess then they said it was a mass of some kind. Um, and then, so they sent me to the oncologist and it was kind of done backwards because when I went to the oncologist, he said, well, you should go and get a biopsy first. So then they ordered a biopsy and then that came back that it was Hodgkin's lymphoma. Yeah. So right away they're they're wanting to do all the traditional treatments and I always knew years probably in my teens that I'd never ever do it if I had it because I heard too many bad things from. It. Yeah. So what was going through your mind when you were first diagnosed? Were you shocked, surprised since you had a perhaps healthy life? Tell me about that. Yes, I was surprised because I mean, for one thing, at the time, I didn't even notice any symptoms of it. I mean, now that I look back, yeah, I did have a rash that apparently that's what it was, but at the time I didn't know. Um, and then all the other um, um, symptoms that they say I should have, I had basically nothing. So, and then, yeah, I eat healthy. I do as much as I can to try to eat healthy. I may not have been exactly organic at the time, but you know, I eat healthy and so, yeah, I didn't, I just didn't understand it. <clears throat> yeah. And what were the traditional options given to you from your oncologist? Chemotherapy and radiation with some, all kinds of pills. <laughs> That's yeah. all they wanted. Nothing yeah. Else. Yeah. And you mentioned that you knew years ago, like as a teenager, if you were given this, you wouldn't do it. Why? Tell me that. Did you have someone you knew with cancer or why? I knew, I knew a number of people. I mean, I've met people that even when they're like there is no more cure they still just keep pumping them with this chemo and and radiation and it's like they're still dying so why why bother you know and then the more as i got older in the last since i've known about mine i've done all this research and it's like all these long-term effects from it it's like no and then i've met people and they've got long-term effects it's like no <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. And tell me about with going holistic, a little bit about um, you trying to do it on your own versus getting professional help. Tell me how that went or um, what was going through your mind trying to figure it out on your own. Am I doing it right? Am I getting enough of the supplement, the vitamins that I need? Um, am I eating enough of certain vegetables? I knew mm -hmm. cancer lives on sugar. So, you know, all the stuff I'm trying to cut back on. It was just, how do I know I'm doing it? How I know it's actually working? So I'm like, I need somebody to guide me in the right, make sure I'm doing it right. I do um, cleaning, just mm -hmm. regular home and, home and office cleaning. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I used to use all kinds of chemicals, but then the last mm -hmm. 10 years or so, we started using more natural things. So that was another thing I don't understand why. <laughs> yeah. I did a lot of Googling, <laughs> trying yeah. to find out natural treatment mm -hmm. for cancer. And mm -hmm. I found the other ones, of course, they were way out of state across out west and down south, mm -hmm. but they still kind of put in other treatments. Okay, you know, they still might use chemo or something like that to me, but right. I didn't want that. Exactly. No, I don't want to do that. And then when I, I, some, like I said, I Googled and I found you and I listened to your one seminar and a webinar or whatever. And it's like, yeah. this sounds like what I want. This is all yeah. in food and stuff. And this is what I want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I just just needed that little bit more guidance and it just made me feel better, you know, knowing I guess because you do you did the blood blood work, the different lab, you know, samples and things that guided me knowing, okay, I can't do that on my own. So you were able to tell me, okay, you need this and you don't need this. So that that it made me feel good. <laughs> yeah. And on that note, it's nice that you talked about like the right testing in your own words, or your own opinion. How would you feel that the testing we did was different than what traditional doctors do through insurance? Um, they just, 
they just want to check to see, I guess, if the lab work that I had done, it was just, we just have to make sure that your blood will clot or won't clot too much or whatever it was. It's like, it didn't, it wasn't that, it was just for them to give me more medication. It wasn't for any healing purposes in my mind. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. I was having a, a bleeding problem and extremely heavy um, periods. So I had gone and gotten tested, checked out for that. And they said, yes, you have fibroids. And that doctor was just very unkind and told me that she was going, I needed to have every, um, my uh, uh, uterus, removed. uterus removed because of that. And I told her right then, no, I'm not. Mm -hmm. I knew there was natural ways to cure it because there was testimonials online that it was it was fixed. So I told yeah. her I was I was going to do it naturally, and she's like, "That'll never work." I mean, and I've had, I've had different relatives tell me the same thing: "It'll never work." Well, yeah. guess what? It's working now because I notice a difference. <laughs> yes, oh, I I don't bleed hardly at all. You know, it's nothing like I was, and it's, yeah. it's much better. We're looking and saying, wow, look at the changes in your hormones, right? And that was something we found was that they were moving in the right direction, which is good. So we bring that, it does take time. Even an added bonus, I lost the, the heaviness off of my hips and thighs. I had to go get other clothes for the other week because like, I can't wear these anymore. They aren't staying Yeah, up. that's fun. And before the program, what was weight loss like for you? Did you ever try to lose weight and what was that like? I could lose weight before. It never really actually stayed off. Or my, I always had that just, for some reason, just never went away. Um, I definitely know I sleep better. I sleep more so through the night and not have to get up to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I don't have to go to the bathroom as often as I used to. Mm -hmm. um, at least I used to be once, maybe occasionally twice, but usually at least once. So that doesn't happen. Um, I definitely just enjoy my sleep. <laughs> and then, I never really noticed that I had a lot of pain, but I do remember here, probably about a month or so ago, I had said to Scott, I said, you know, I can squat, something we were doing. I was like, I can squat for a much longer time and my knees and my thighs and stuff don't get hurting. So yeah, it, it worked. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really good to hear. How about the coughing? When did that start to change? That, well, it's interesting. The I had gone to a second oncologist for a, um, a second opinion mm -hmm. and well, because the first one had prescribed that I get the fluid drained off. They had to do that twice. The second one said, I think that was like in May, she said that I, I had fluid back on. And at the time I wasn't really noticing it. But then as it, as it went on, yes, I was starting to cough a lot more. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I can tell it's bad. Well, when you had me start the ozone, by the end of the month, at least by the end of the month, it was gone. I was no longer coughing, and I could take walks and breathe good because that's what we would take walks every day. It's like okay, it, I breathe very good, but it's fine. I haven't had any issues at all, and you're only killing the bad cells, not the good cells, like chemo does. <laughs> and that's what makes sense, right? Just logically. Um, what would you say to someone who isn't sure if they should do this or if it's worth it or fears that it's a lot of money? I have already told some people that your life is worth more than money. <laughs> so if you want to feel good and, and live much better, uh, better life, then this is what you do. It's all yeah. in food. Imagine doing these other treatments, how you're going to fare later on in life. You know, I've talked to somebody who had, actually was in the store, I was picking up some Epsom salts and the lady was like, this stuff works so good. And I told her about what I had and she's like, she had it twice. And she has bone, she went to the traditional and she has bone pain all the time. She mm -hmm. says, don't do it. <laughs> it's the same, he's sleeping better. He sleeps much better. He has a little more energy as well. Um, just overall, overall feeling you will have from doing it, and it, you're not. It's all good, good stuff that you. They're having, you know, you're being told to eat. So, and the exercise is something we all need. And you may take what 
couple weeks a year and say, oh, I need to get healthier. So then you do it. And then if everything goes, falls down the hill once you're done. But this is a, a it's a gradual uh, way of doing it. Um, and then it's, you learn to, it becomes a part of your life, just eating that way and, and exercising. Yeah. I mean, I have my mom doing it. She, you know, she needs, she needs it because she's arthritic. I'm trying to get my dad to do it, but I don't know if he will, but. <laughs> Thanks, Ida. Keep up the great work. I'm proud of you. Thank you for the privilege to serve you. It's an honor and I'm glad you're getting such great results. I knew you would, but you did the hard part. We just guided you. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. I'll talk to you. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs>